Hi, welcome back to The Round Table. I'm your host, Stephen, and today in music, I will be talking about 72 Seasons, the latest release from Metal Masters, Metallica. This is their 11th studio album. The band has been around since 1981, so that's 42 years, if I do my math correctly. And they do have the largest selling metal album with their black album at 17 million units. Songs like Enter Sandman, Sad But True, The Unforgiven, Wherever I May Roam, Nothing Else Matters have become staple on rock radio as far back as I can remember. This pushed them into a different league. These be They became the leaders. They have a very finicky fan base. There's those that like the first five albums where they're kind of thrash metal and kind of went eek when the Black Album came out. They kind of went mainstream. So there's always been that people that love, hate them, and the old school fans don't like the new stuff, and the new fans don't like the old stuff. I like a little of both. I'm not going to say I like everything they do. I have a hard time with the thrash metal stuff, to be honest. But I like some songs. Like One, Master of Puppets is good. I enjoyed those. So, But back to this album. It is 77 minutes long, and unlike Hardwired for Self-Destruction, uh, Hardwired to Self-Destruct, excuse me, it was broken into two. This is one CD, which is great in a way that it's only one, but it is long at 77 minutes. I think the album is good. I liked it. James Hatfield, I think, best vocal performance in years. He is he is on fire here. I think this is this is something he has wanted to do. This is an album from him, from his heart. He's wearing his heart on his sleeve, and he does it great. Everybody's doing good. I think Robert Trulio, if I'm saying his name correctly, the bassist, this is his best album. This is best. This album best represents his playing. And he is, I think, really, really predominantly well portrayed on this album. This is something, this is his album per se. I want to say this is, besides James Hatfield's vocals, next is the bassist on here. I think he. these are the guys that have, are shining on this album. Now, I like this album. I think it's great. I enjoyed it. I only listened to it once today. So this is an initial response to it. I like the album. It hard, It's hard rocking. It's a very groove hard rock. I'm not going to say not so much as thrash, except for maybe the title track starts off and you think, oh, maybe it's going to be like a Master of Puppets thing. But no, it's the same style as uh, Hardwired to Self-Destruct. If you like that album, you will like this album. If you didn't like that album, I don't think this will do anything for you. Very good album. I I enjoyed Lux Eterna. Screaming Suede is not bad. If Darkness had a had a son, I like. The album looks like this. Then you got James Hatfield. The band comes out. You open it up. It is a nice kind of way of doing it. I enjoyed it. You got the booklet. Nicely done, in my opinion. Well, nicely. That's a little cumbersome to open that way because once you shove it back in here, it's a little rough to do. So I'm seeing this yellow outside border ripping eventually. But other than that, standout tracks for me. I'm going to say the title track, Lux Eternal. I liked it as a single. A lot of people do not like it. It is short, sweet. It's not. It's it was it was an easy, accessible song. So. It got my attention because it's accessible to me. The other one was this Crown of Barbed Wire is great. And it reminds me of um, King Nothing. I think there's some sort of kindred connection on those two. They, I kind of see a similarity there. This is King Nothing 2023. Then there's the last song. In a more... In a Morata. It's 11 minutes long. It's a great epic song. I, I liked it. A lot of people are saying it's too long. Yeah, maybe. Maybe. At times I can see it. But today I like that. I like that epic ending song. I like an epic song on an album. And it kind of was the closest thing when I get to one or Master of Puppets or something. With that epic, epic long song from that Metallica was, could, used to do. Now, what I liked about this album as well... As everybody know, with Stranger Things, the song Master of Puppets kind of brought Metallica really back with the younger crowd. And they kind of rediscovered this band. 
they could have easily make a master of puppets too and they didn't and i i give them kudos for sticking to the vision of this album which is basically the first 18 years of someone's life where they're kind of struggling of who they're going to be who are they going to become are they going to listen to their parents interpretation of what a child should be or what a human be or they're going to find their own way and it's the struggle of the first 18 years of your life from that childhood to adulthood kind of thing interesting thing uh, james hatfield again very emotional album from him i like that the playing is great they keep saying kirk hammett's solos are not are not how do you say it, inspired i can hear it on a couple of tracks there Maybe he's getting tired of Metallica. I don't know. I don't know. I can't say. But again, it's the bassist here and James Hatfield's vocals that are the stars of this album, in my opinion. Is it worth getting? If you're a Metallica fan, yes. I think if you liked the last album, you thought for me, that was like, that was, what's what I envisioned Metallica sounding like at this stage? And they did it. This album is is representative of that again and i think it's a great vision of the band or version of the band and if you're a metallica fan can't go wrong with it. i don't think you can go wrong with it these guys are have been around like I said, for 42 years they know something they know how to make a good riff and you know james hetfield you know wears his heart on his sleeve again on this and i think it's it, there's not a lot of negative pain but it's just that searching that yearning, and I think that's why, like, it's not as dark as some, like, Saint Anger or something, but there, there's something there, there's a yearning, which I appreciate it, and again, his vocal delivery here is outstanding, so all in all, I like it, the other, the, the minor quibble I will have, at first listen, I had a hard time distinguishing which song is which, they all kind of sound the same, but, you know, people say that about ACDC albums, right? They all sound the same and all the songs sound... So that Metallica has on the songs sound the same. After 42 years, I think they're kind of finding their niche again. And they're doing it. But it's good. I think I'd have to listen to it a couple of more times to really distinguish the songs. Because, like I said, they kind of all merged into one. You're kind of going, what, what track am I at now? Oh, okay, track four, track four, Okay. That's the only thing. They, they kind of all sound similar. But it's still good. I think it's the best album with their current bassist. I think this, this is the one that shows him that how he has grown as a player. So if you like the bass and you like powerful vocals and you like some you know, some really good lyrics, this is this is an album for you. If you like driving groove-oriented hard rock, then Metallica 72 Seasons is for you. If you didn't like the last couple of albums, this won't change your mind on them. So old school fans may not gravitate to this. Guys like me who got into it from the Black Album onward will probably like this. But that's my take. You let me know what you think. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do. If you haven't linked the like button, please do. We would appreciate it. And we would love to hear from you. Let me know what did you think of this album. Is it uh, their best? I read somewhere it's their best album in, in, in 30 years. I don't know yet. I, it's, it's been one listen. But you let me know what you think. What are your favorite tracks? What are your worst? Is it a good album? Not a good album? Again, love to hear from you. Please subscribe. Hit the like button. And this is Steven from the Roundtable wishing you the very best.